Good morning and welcome to Community Roundtable, a free public service brought to you on AM 1590 KDJS. If you're a member of a nonprofit organization and would like to be featured on the program, call the KDJS Newsline at 320-235-2900. That's 320-235-2900. This is Community Roundtable, 1590 KDJS and FM 105.7. Al Sheldon here. We have a big event coming up in Wilmer on Sunday. This coming Sunday, the 25th. And uh, is that a Sunday? No, that's a Saturday. Okay, guys, you'll correct me already here. Saturday, the 25th, a big day over at Robbins Island Park, right across from us here in Wilmer on the north side. Uh, a festival called the One Way Festival. We've got Jason Haug and Adam Trask here to talk about the festival, things that are going on, and, and how it all came to be. Jason, you're closest to the mic. Uh, step on up, and thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Well, thanks for having us. It's going to uh, be a big day on, on Saturday. Yeah, we're excited. We've put a lot into this. Uh, it's been a, a long time coming, and, and we're just excited. We've uh, uh, excited to partner with the, the Fortress. I work with uh, the organization called uh, Atlas of West Central Minnesota. And, uh, you know, the last few years, the Fortress has done this uh, uh, fall festival that included like a rib fest, a rib uh, cook-off with some live music. And last year we did a sweet corn and watermelon feed, and we thought what better, uh, more delicious thing to do than to combine these two into, into one event. And uh, that's what we got coming up on uh, Saturday, uh, 1 to 8 over at uh, across the road here at Robbins Island. And uh, we've got some live music, uh, a rib uh, competition, rib fest, uh, some kids' activities, and uh, should be a lot of fun. Oh, you're making my mouth water. Ribs, sweet corn. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> How, uh, you mentioned Atlas of West Central Minnesota, where, where you'd been uh, involved with her. What, what is Atlas? Atlas is a uh, Christ-centered mentoring ministry. So what we do is we connect with people who are uh, maybe at a hard spot in life, uh, whether it's uh, depression, just relationship problems, uh, uh, whatever the case may be, we connect with them and uh, uh, connect them with a uh, volunteer mentor who can walk uh, through life with them, support them, and uh, encourage them uh, through whatever struggle they might be walking through. And you mentioned teaming up with the Fortress. If we could bring Adam into the microphone here. Tell us about the Fortress and, and all you do. Yes, good morning. Thank you for having us. Uh, the Fortress is a Christ-centered restoration program for men. Uh, who primarily struggle with drugs and alcohol addiction. Uh, so what we do at the Fortress on a daily basis is we're able to point these men who come out of jail, prison, treatment, they're homeless. They've actually, you know, pretty much everyone who comes in um, to the program, to the Fortress, has lost all hope. Um, and so what we do at the Fortress is we point them to the source of hope, and that is in Jesus Christ. And so every day um, we get to just hang out with the men. We get to do Bible studies together. We get to lead, teach, guide, and, and through the power of the Holy Spirit and, and point these men to the freedom that is found in Christ um, from addiction to drugs and alcohol. So that's what we do over at the Fortress every day. How long has the Fortress been in Wilmer? Uh, Fortress has been in Wilmer about five years um, now. Uh, so we've had this event going on um, that's coming up this Saturday. Uh, we're, it's called the One Way Festival this year, and, and like Jason had mentioned, we are teaming up with Atlas this year. We've we've done a kind of a family fall festival the last couple years, um, and we've had that out at the Midwest campus here in Wilmer. But we decided, uh, like Jason said, what better way to do this but to team up with another ministry in town and just be united. Um, and that's what Christ calls us to do as a church is to be united. And I think this is going to be an awesome day to have two ministries who both um, – their mission is to point men and, and women to Christ and uh, to team up and have this day and, and this event coming up here. So, now You mentioned the event growing, uh, and, go, and what a great place to, to have in Wilbur, Robbins Island Park, now a regional park. It's about 55 acres uh, in its uh, facility that's getting used to having large events. So plenty of room to set up and, uh, and for families to, to get together and, and celebrate together. Yeah, and there's going to be, uh, like Jason mentioned, the sweet corn, uh, sweet corn and watermelon. The, the ribs are going to be out there. We're, we're hopefully going to have a lot of teams 
um, smoking ribs out there. Uh, so during the day, with there's going to be just lots of food. Uh, you're you're going to come. It's you're not going to leave hungry. Uh, and and another thing is we're going to have live worship um, bands, four different bands during the day. Um, Jason Gray is kind of the headliner of the day, at, and he performs at six thirty. And he's kind of a, a mainstream Christian artist mm-hmm. um, who we're going to have there at six thirty p.m. Uh, on Saturday. And so we just look forward to having um, men and women come out, get to get to hear more about um, what the, what Atlas does and what the fortress does get to hear testimonies of, of what Christ has done in, in men and women's lives through these programs and then just spend time together eating fellowshipping and just hanging out for the day how many people are helping out with this event I, I imagine a lot of volunteers huh? different folks involved yeah we've right now we're looking at uh, probably about 60 to 70 volunteers helping us out the day of the event uh, just doing different things from helping People with parking, to serving food, uh, taking tickets, that kind of thing. So it's been a uh, a lot of pulling a lot of people together to help out with uh, an event this big. When did you start planning? Oh, we've started planning uh, early this this spring after the, kind of the fortress and Atlas each had uh, their their spring banquet. As soon as those were done, we started kind of turned our attention to this and and uh, started focusing on this. So. Was it tough getting the entertainment lined up? You have to, again, work many months down the road to talk to, to those good folks? Um, yeah, we did. We had to get a hold of them, just get on their schedules uh, uh, plenty early. Uh, thankfully, they were, uh, you know, kind of the first ones we turned to and asked, and, and they it's worked out, so we haven't had uh, a lot of changes or anything on the mm-hmm. schedule, so that we, that's been a, a blessing for us in that, in that way. And not only entertainment, but then you've got, sound system and people to operate the mechanics of it all you know <laughs> a lot of logistics a lot of logistics going to something like this yeah. any idea on the number of uh, rib competitors that you might end up with is it too late to, to get in or can somebody still say hey i want to come grill no you can still still come uh, grill with us yeah you can find uh, all the information all the application information and the, the competition rules all of that information is on the uh, event website at one way festival wilmer dot com that's one way festival wilmer uh, dot com you can find uh, the schedule uh uh, application to to uh, come cook ribs uh, be a part of that uh, rib fest uh you can also buy tickets online the the ticket costs are um if you get them before the event they're ten dollars if you get them online or you can buy them at atlas or at the fortress uh, if you come get them at the gate, they're fifteen dollars uh, the the day of the event. So. And the ticket will include the entertainment. Does that include uh, sampling some ribs too? Then or? the the food is separate. The, okay. We we have uh, food tokens that you can purchase a dollar a token, and one token gets you one food item. Uh, so you can purchase those the the day of the event uh, there. So the food is you purchase separate for just a dollar a token. Yep, dollar wow. a token. So that so wow. ba- basically about five dollars will get you a meal. So it's a, a pretty good a deal. <laughs> yeah, and all proceeds from the the ticket sales and the food sales all. All of that support the mission of Atlas uh, and the Fortress together. I've had the pleasure of being at some rib fests and all oh, the variety and the deliciousness of of what these chefs are creating on their on their grill. With I might add a top secret recipe. You can never get the ingredient out of them. You know? Exactly, a lot of talent out there. <laughs> oh, for sure. You've got some sponsors that help out. Uh, we're certainly happy to help, and our thanks to Jim Butterfield, uh, one of the commissioners, for, for hooking us up. But uh, we should mention some other folks, too, you know. Yeah, um, we have had a number of, of sponsors uh, involved uh, supporting our event. We've, you know, even the ones that we have here in front of us, there's so many beyond beyond uh, those. Uh, but just a lot of uh, local businesses coming coming together to, to support uh, this event and help us make this possible. We're very grateful for all of them. You'll be able to see them, list of um, all of them out at the the event. And uh, if you know them, just say thank you uh, to them. I noticed you do some Facebooking and Instagram and tweeting and everything. Uh, yeah. Easy to find. Yep, yep. One Way Festival. Uh, look for that on Facebook and, and Instagram and Twitter. You can find, keep up to date with some more details. Get some. Uh, there's a few posts out there about like some of the uh, stories behind some of the songs of Jason Gray's. Just different things like that. You can uh, keep track of. We should mention the entertainment uh, starting at 1.30. Four different uh, groups of people or individuals uh, will be singing and uh, and uh, making the crowd smile, I'm sure. Yes, yeah, at uh, 1.30 leading us off, we have uh, Living Hope. Uh, their worship team is going to be uh, kicking us off. Uh, their new worship uh, uh, pastor, uh, Jeff Willis, so will be there with a, with a, a group. And then at uh, 2.30, we have Will and Kate, uh, Will Neprath and, and Kate Brown, who are connected to... Uh, Assemblies of God uh, Church here in, in Wilmer. And then uh, 
Joel Hansen at uh, 330 used to be a member of the band PFR uh, back in the 90s and and uh, now doing some uh, still writing some music and r- songs and performing on his on his own and then uh, Jason Gray at uh, 630 our, our headliner excited to have him uh, in Wilmer and uh, should be a, an amazing day should be real fun yeah let's go back to Adam for just a minute here at uh, the name one way festival uh, where did that come from uh, well, to to make it simple, uh, we we kind of were thinking about a name of this event, and um, we I, we thought about the Bible verse, um, how Jesus says He is the way, the truth, and the life um, to the Father, to God, and, and so we 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 thought about that, and when what better way for a name of a event to define um, Christian unity than coming together um, with an organization like Atlas? And teaming up and having it named One Way Festival because both of the ministries that you have here are defined in, in all about Jesus Christ. And he is the way. He is the truth and he is the life. So that is how that's how we came up with that name because it's all about Jesus Christ. And so we figured let's go with one way because he is the way. And uh, hopefully uh, the hope is down the road in the future years to come. That, that Atlas and the Fortress will have other organizations, other ministries uh, want to partner up with us and, and just be ha- have, a, have a day event like we're going to have this Saturday. That's just a, a day of Christian unity and fellowship. You mentioned being on a Midwest campus uh, before with events. How many events, how many years uh, have you had something going on like this? Uh, some, something like this for a like barbecue rib fest. Uh, the last two years we kind of had a bigger event. Um, for the fortress out at Midwest campus. Um, and then a couple years before that, each year we had kind of a barbecue just on the property of the mm-hmm. fortress, kind of a smaller event barbecue rib fest that we had there. Um, but the last couple years we've had it out at Midwest. So this is kind of the first year. This is the first year we're doing it out at Robbins Island. And um, we're hoping um, just the location, uh, the way it's set up, the the amount of people who are who have come alongside us and are wanting to help, the um, the the music, all the ribs and the food that will be there, and, and just the fact that I, I, whenever I drive by Robbins Island and I just can picture this on, on Saturday is it's just going to be an awesome day. You look over and anyone's invited to come uh, from one to eight p.m. and just to show up and, and find out more about what's going on with these two ministries. Yeah, and I think Robbins Island and and uh, and the, and the people that are uh, getting more and more accustomed to to going to events there now. It's people kind of almost look to that and go, "Hey, what's going on? We have to go." You know, it's yep. becoming a habit, I guess. Uh, to me, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but to me, this this fills a nice what I would call a void or or a niche. I mean, Wilbur used to have uh, the Christian Festival and Rock Festival uh, Sunshine a few years back. That that moved on. Uh, we get to have something new here with with food and entertainment that uh, I think a lot of people will will really enjoy you know yeah so that's that that is something that you know has kind of gone away from uh, Wilmer here uh, Sunshine Festival used to be here and so we're not trying to completely um, you know reinvent or fill that void but but we think that this is going to be an awesome event for everyone to come out and and I think just the way this has come together uh, since the planning started after both of our banquets this this spring and how the Lord has just kind of brought this thing together and how he's putting it together for this Saturday. Uh, I think it's going to be an amazing day um, to, f- to come out. They mentioned the Fortress in Wilbur now for, for around five years, always at Midwest Campus or, or downtown or where exactly again? For the, for the fortress itself, the fortress facilities over on Russell Street. Okay, um, actually, uh, over on Russell and Ella Avenue here in Northwest in Wilmer. Um, it used to be uh, before the fortress. It used to be a, it was a nursing home. It's the old older nursing home facility over on R- Russell Street over there. Uh, so it's a perfect facility. Uh, we have 32, 32 rooms uh, for thirty two men to come and stay at the facility, um, and they are there uh, on a daily basis. We have programs programming every day, Bible studies every day. Uh, the men just come in, like I said, and, and they are they're pointed to a relationship with God through Jesus Christ. And you've been with the Fortress uh, since it's come to Wilbur then? Or? I have not. Uh, I actually I have my own um, little bit of a story from my past. Um, I came to Wilmer actually three years ago. Uh, I, I struggle with my own um, addiction to, to drugs, and, and you know, most recently 
before Wilmer, I, I, I had to go through um, Teen Challenge in Brainerd, Minnesota. And um, about six years ago, I entered that program. And so um, through struggles after Teen Challenge, I basically ca- came to Wilmer um, in my car with everything I owned, and I entered the fortress just like any other guy comes in and enters the fortress. I just, I just needed restoration in my life through God and, and His Son Jesus Christ, and and I found that at the fortress, and, and and I've been blessed with the opportunity to be put in a staff position, and now as the ministry director of the fortress, it's amazing to see what God's done in my life. Um, but yeah, I I came to Wilmer three years ago, um, and I entered the fortress like any of these other guys entered the fortress, just as a, a guy needing help. Are there any other uh, unique things like what we have coming up that the Fortress does throughout the course of a year? Uh, so we actually, our, our two main events, so this will be one of our main events that we do during the year. The other thing that we do is in the, the spring, well, we have a spring banquet um, out at the conference center here in Wilmer that we do every spring. But these are these are pretty much our, our two main events um, throughout the year. Like this summer and this fall, we're going to have more barbecues actually um, right across from the fortress um, once a month at the end of each month, hopefully in September and October, depending on how the weather is this fall. Um, we, we did it a couple